Hey everybody, this is Jen catching you on DTWJ, representing NJ all day. I received some very sad news a few hours ago. Not sure what the fuck time exactly it is, and it really doesn't matter at this point. I'm pissed off right now. Um, I was crying a lot. I lost a friend, um, AJ. I have known him for a long time, since I was like 16. Uh, his full name is Alan Rojas. I always called him AJ. Uh, he's recognized as J uh, Jurs Strong on Facebook. Yeah. He's one of my buddies. Uh, we didn't exactly agree, uh, religiously or spiritually or whatever. You know, because he's like a, a hardcore Christian. Always been. Uh, and I'm over here. I sit here a pagan. <laughs> But we always got along pretty good, um, and I always kind of relied on him, you know, just to talk to, uh, as a friend. I would have, like, really honest, heartfelt conversations with him about shit, and, um, there was not one, excuse me, I'm gonna try real hard not to, there was not one time that he shrugged me off or told me that he was too busy. There was not one time that he didn't listen or respond or like take the time out to help me through something. And he didn't do it in such a way that was like oppressive or uh, extremist or anything like that. He was just he was just there for me cuz he knew where I was coming from. And that in itself, right there, excuse me, is unconditional love. Yeah, I am. Damn, man. I'm trying real hard not to, like I can't. But it's the truth. Um, that right there is unconditional love. If you have one friend in your lifetime, okay, that seems different from you, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. I hate crying. That is there for you, regardless. That takes time out to listen to you, to care about you. You know, to feel your pain. And to feel you out of that pain. To help you with it. To get you up, to lift you up, and not look down on you. That's unconditional love. I don't have too many friends that are capable of that. He was one of them. I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard not to. I don't want you to cry now. Don't start that shit. But I just found out today. Literally today, in like the wee hours of the morning, my friend Sean, uh, Sean Conroy, reposted some shit that he posted. I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I went over to his wall, not Sean, uh, AJ's wall, to see what he was up to, because I recently invited him to an event that he said he was going to, and I'm pretty sure he showed up. <laughs> He's always been that go-getter, you know? Yeah, he showed up. I know he did. Anyway. And then I went over to his wall to find all this shit. Not shit, but, you know, all these things posted up, you know, by everybody who knows him. Like, oh my god, I can't believe it, you know, you're gone. And I'm like, this is bullshit. At first I was like, this is bullshit, okay, because I just talked with him, like, last week. <laughs> you know? I was like, man, I just talked to him last week. This is some fucking bullshit, right? Don't tell me this. You know what I mean? Like, everybody was just posting on his wall. <sighs> Turns out it's true. Turns out it's true. Um, he's no longer in earthly form. And, um, yeah. <sighs> I just, I hate it when shit like that happens, okay? You're in the middle of the day. <laughs> You're having a great day. 
all right? And you go over to that person's wall and all of a sudden you read all this shit and you're like, I've had that happen about at least five times to me last year. Okay, five friends of mine have passed away last year. I had to find out, just like that, <laughs> in the middle of a good day. And I go over to that person's wall and I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Or I'll have somebody message me. Such and such a person had passed away. I wouldn't even know the person, but that the, they would just message me and I'm like, you know? Like, what the fuck? I, I'm grateful that people can reach out and they're cool enough to do that shit. But that is some bad fucking news. <laughs> some badass fucking news to receive. Like, seriously. And I'm hurt. I'm very hurt right now. I'm... I'm actually torn. I really am. I'm torn over losing AJ because he's always been a good friend to me. He's always... He always listened to me. Even in person years ago, he'd be like, all right, you know, we, we had each other's numbers. He And I wasn't one of those chicks that he would pick up, you know, even though he was always a stub muffin. He would call, I, he would call and just be like, how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, I'm doing good, blah, blah, blah. We'll have a conversation, hang up and go about our day. And he keeps, he kept reminding me, you know, if ever something, you know, goes wrong and uh, things are not okay, you could call me. Like, you sure about that? You know, because I, I was all like, proceed with caution. Uh, but he, he never did anything wrong. You know, he, he never messed with me. He never disrespected me. So I was like, you know what? This, this guy is my friend. And somehow I lost touch with him. I don't know how, but I did. Maybe our numbers changed or something. Stuff like that happens. So like, you know, the days, be, the days before Facebook, <laughs> basically. And it was only like, what, 16, 17, I think. Yeah, around that age I met him. Yeah, so like, if anything like went down or like some drama would be happening and I would not be okay, he was like one of the number one people I would call and just be like, yo, pick me up. <laughs> you know, we need to like just go chill. We need to talk. I need to calm down. I'm not doing good here. He, he was the kind of friend that would do that for me. And still to this day, even though we only, you know, would talk over Facebook or whatever and not visit, he would still take time out just the same way he always used to. Are you okay? Is everything going all right? Yeah, everything's good. All right. You need me, man. Hit me up because I'm here. I'm like, okay. And anytime something wasn't right, and I was going through drama or some shit was going down, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> you don't know the shit I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I would hit him up. We would talk, whatever. You know, we would chill, take as much time that was needed, just like we did back in the day when we would hang out. I swear, it's like he was my best friend. I'm just... <sighs> Oh. Hmm. I'm trying real hard not to, but I can't help it. Because, like I said, I just found out today. Technically, today, last night, whatever. Oh. He'll always have my heart and he'll always have my love. Because he had always been that person. He had always been that person for me. Not just for me, but like for probably a lot of people, who knows. But he had always been that person who really honestly cared, you know, about his friends. That's why I said, you know, it's not like he was trying to pick me up or nothing. He wasn't. I wasn't one of those chicks that he was chasing after. Probably for obvious reasons, you know. Even if I, like... I did come out in high school, I know I mentioned that, but even if I didn't, he'd probably be able to recognize the swag on me and just be like, yo, I know secretly you are. 
putting the bee in it every day, all day. Yes. And he's not the, he, you know, he was never the type to, like, push himself on you or anything like that. Like, he was always a perfect gentleman. And I, I honestly thank him for that because I, I needed guy friends, you know what I mean? I really did, like, just people to understand me. Because I would go through a lot of shit, and um, I needed people to be there for me. And he's one of those that had always been there for me back then and, uh, and now. And now he's gone. Now he's gone. I only hope that he does meet the sun or the moon or whatever it is that it takes for him to cross over and then he doesn't stay here and get lost here because that's the last freaking thing that he needs. He needs to go home. He needs to go home. I hope he does soon. So I don't have to have so I don't have to worry about that. Ugh. I love him. I'll always love him. He's honestly one of the best friends I've ever had. I'll never forget him and he'll always be in my heart. I know. I know it. He'll always be in my heart. And not in the way that it's going to tear me down or keep me depressed or anything like that. No. He's going to always be in my heart in the way that he always led the kind of life where he was always energetic, confident, giving to people, caring for people, doing what he had to do with his life. Whether people saw it as right or right, didn't matter. He still did what he had to do anyway. And you know what? He's got a lot of respect for that. And that's what I'm talking about. He'll always be in my heart. I'll never forget him. Every single time that, you know, we would spend time talking, in person or not, when stuff would go down, that will always be in my heart. The way that he had always been in, in his lifetime it will always be in my heart because that will always inspire me and motivate me. And that's something that I can carry with me for the rest of my life. I'll probably be mourning for a while. I didn't expect this. And I'm sorry that I'm crying like this, but I can't help it. All I know is that right now, all that matters to me is that I keep my confidence no matter what I do. And if people don't understand me seeing this, then they have yet to discover and chisel at understanding themselves. If this raw human emotion is too much for you, you don't understand shit about yourself and what you can do with your life. And I'm not trying to say that in a negative way. I'm trying to say it in a way that'll wake you up. Because one day, you're gonna regret ever not feeling being selfish not caring. We're living in a day and age right now in a selfish society to where people inconvenience each other and if they're not happy with the results of that they get all pissy and iffy and are all like well I made an effort uh, why am I gonna um, I don't know ship across an ocean if you can't jump over a puddle quote-unquote well, uh, probably because you're selfish and you need to get the hell over that. You need to learn how to be human again. And once you could do this, 
then you could be all about this. You know what I mean? Yourself. You could be all about it. You could start to feel it out and bring it out. <laughs> Through feeling and tapping into your emotion, you could become whole again. You want to help yourself? You want to look at self-help? You want to help yourself? Start to feel. Allow yourself to do that shit. Express yourself. Express how much you love somebody. It feels good. It really does. Start there. It's been Jack catching you on DTWJ. Keep it real as always. AJ. Ellen Rojas. Rest in peace. And fly with freedom, brother. I love you. Blessed be. You'll always be in my heart, I promise. <laughs>